is now 6 p.m. Thank you so much, TJ. Good evening, Board of Commissioners, Commissioners and the citizens of Douglas, Douglas County. County. We will call this TJ. For some reason, I have a lot of background noise. Just trying to. Okay. If everyone would mute their mics, please. Thank you. I'll try it again. Good evening to the citizens of Douglas County and also to our Douglas County Board of Commissioners. We will call this February the 16th, 2021 Board of Commissioners Legislative Meeting to order. I will start with roll call. I will start with District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Present. District 2 and uh, Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson. Present. District 3, Terenia Carthen. Present. And District 4, Commissioner Guida will not be here with us tonight. And Chairman Ramona Jackson-Jones. Board of Commissioners, we have a call. This evening, Board of Commissioners, we have the distinct pleasure of having Pastor Greg Toller with us this uh, evening uh, from Crossroad uh, Church to render our invocation. And we're so excited. And uh, after the invocation, Board of Commissioners, I ask you and also the citizens to join me in reciting the pledge to the flag. Pastor Toller, I believe I've, I saw you on the, on the line earlier. You have yes, the floor. Hi, uh, Pastor, and welcome. You have the floor. All right. Thank you all for letting me join you. Uh, can we bow our heads in prayer? You all mind? Yes, sir. Uh, Father, we just uh, thank you for uh, just giving us this uh, body of men and women to help guide our county, Lord. I pray, God, for uh, just wisdom tonight as they're making decisions and direction, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit would guide them into all truth, God, and, Lord God, that uh, the decisions they make would be decisions that are led by you, God, uh, for the good of our people and for, uh, Lord, just things that bring glory to you. I thank you, Lord, that you know all the details. And, Lord, I pray also that you just protect our county and our people from uh, the sickness of COVID going around, God. I pray, Lord, for just uh, your hand of protection over us, God. And, Lord, we thank you that uh, you're a provider and you're our security, God. And we just rest in you today and tonight. And, Father, thank you for all the business that will come forward. And thank you for all the decisions that will be made uh, for the good of your people, God. And, Lord, also just for our county and the blessings upon it. Thank you so much for uh, just allowing these men and women to sacrifice their time and to uh, make a difference in our community. So in Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Tola. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to pray over our county and also over, over our board of commissioners. Uh, and we really appreciate the powerful prayer. Board of Commissioners, if you could join me in the rec in reciting the pledge to the flag uh, and also the citizens of Douglas County, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, thank you, Pastor Toller, for that remarkable prayer. Board of Commissioners, we will start our meeting. We will dive right in. We have, uh, Clerk, do we have public comment tonight? We did not have anyone sign in. However, I would like to ask if there are any citizens that would like to speak on anything that's um, pertaining to the agenda tonight. Okay, Chairman being none, I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Clerk Watson. Board of Commissioners, we'll move right into our minutes. Board of Commissioners, we have the Commission meet minute uh, minutes of um, February 2nd, 2021, the work session minutes of February 1st, 2021, and the executive session minutes of February 1st, 2021. Are there any additions, deletions, or revisions that need to be made? No, ma'am. Okay. Being none, the minutes stand approved. Board of Commissioners, tonight we have a proclamation 
uh, and the, the proclamation is proclaiming the month of February is Black History Month here in Douglas County. And uh, our own Tiffany Stewart Stanley will introduce our speaker tonight, or Jordan Griffin from Douglas County Youth Commission will uh, actually render, render the proclamation, but I wanted to uh, spare time for Tiffany Stewart Stanley to introduce her. Director Stanley, are you on the line? We, I believe your mic is muted. I see your photograph. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Good evening, Board of Commissioners. This year's Black History Month proclamation will be read by Jordan Griffin, Griffin, who is this year's chairman of the Douglas County Youth Commission. This is her third year being a member of our Youth Commission, and this is our third year uh, actually having the Youth Commission. Uh, part of their programming for the Youth Commission is actually doing community service projects, putting together programs. And so for this year, uh, due to the fact that we are virtual, one of their projects is to actually put together a Black History Month program, which will be uh, airing on the um, February 25th at 6.30 p.m. on the Douglas County External Affairs page. So hopefully we'll have people tune in to um, watch their Black History Month program. So as I said before, our proclamation will be read by Ms. Jordan Griffith, a 12th grader at Douglas County High School, who is our, who is our Youth uh, Commission Chairman. Um, Jordan, I'll turn it over to you. Jordan, are you in here? Okay, I know she's in because I admitted her. I don't know why we can't hear her. Jordan, are you muted? Okay, well, I will go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll see if we can give her a moment. And if not, I will go ahead and read the proclamation. Tiffany, this is Lisa. I'm not showing that she's muted. Um, she must just be having problems. She's welcome to disconnect and try to connect back in if you want to give her a chance to do that. Yes, okay. please. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Chairman Jones, would you like for me to just give her a moment? Yes, you, you can. And what I'll do, so just, just in the interest of time, I'm going to move on to our first business item. That Maybe you all could uh, connect the dots with it, and then we'll go, come back if that's okay with the Board of Commissioners. If that's okay. Okay, we'll move on. We're going to move on to our first business items, um, <laughs> business item, Board of Commissioners, and it's tab number five. Tab number five is to consider to write off the tax interest for Cold River Land account in the amount of 2000 $936.82. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion in the Madam, second. Madam Chair, I just want to make sure I understand the motion. The motion is to write off the interest uh, despite the recommendation of the tax commissioner, I presume. Is that correct? Yeah, with his recommendation, yeah, to consider to write off the tax interest, yes. He said his recommendation yesterday was not, to not write it off. Right, right. No. So if that's the case, my apologies. I, I, I want to raise remove my second for yeah. that. Yeah, okay, to not write. Okay, but it's written wrong. Okay, the, okay. I'll take up my motion. I, that's how you said it. So just re restate it, Madam Chair. Yeah, let me just restate it. Okay, thank you so much, um, Legal uh, Counsel. Tab number five is to consider to not writing off the tax interest for the Coal River land account in the amount of $2,936.82. Do we have a motion? Madam Chair, I make a motion that we do not write off the tax interest for Cold River land account in the amount of $2,936.82. I second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Please uh, prepare to cast your votes electronically. <laughs> Lisa, we were... You should have something popping up on your screen. Mm -hmm.
Uh, so I have a question. Yes, correct. So yeah. the motion that I made is not what's before us. Will that be corrected or amended yeah. in the meeting? In the minutes? Yeah, yes. Ma 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 Madam Chair, Lisa, let, let me intervene if I can. The motion is different than what was originally read in the agenda item. I would just do an oral vote on this and record it in a minute so we don't mess this up. Thank because you. I'm not, I can't I can't see what they're voting on, but I think they're voting on Commissioner Carthens' motion was to deny the write down. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I have on here. But like you said, the the public doesn't see that I have deny on there, so it would probably be best if we just did this this one orally. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, Board of Commissioners, we'll go back and we'll start, and then we have a motion and a second on the table to deny. We have a motion and a second, and then when I call your name, please state, uh, respond accordingly. District 1 to deny. Yes. Okay, District 2? Yes. District 3? Yes. Chairman, yes. We have a 4-0 unanimous vote, and the motion carries. Madam Thank Madam you. Chair? Mm -hmm. Real quick? Yes. Vice Chairman, you have the floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. as a point of order, I mean, it was fine as read. We would have just we would have voted no if that's what we didn't want it. That's it, we're throwing this off. So it was written a certain way. It was in in the agenda a certain way. We would have just voted no. Uh, so uh, that's remember we, we haven't done this in a while, uh, in about um, you know nine or so, so months. But uh, <laughs> it, it's it's linear, and so right. you you have to go with what's written already there, and then you can always um, just decline it. That was just a sort of a point. I mean, I'm fine with whatever the board did, uh, but it, it's how you read it was fine as is. We would have just voted no if that's not what we wanted versus the opposite. But okay, point. I, I yield back the floor. I'm good, Madam Chair. Yeah, point well taken. Thank you so much, Vice Chairman. All right, uh, I'm gonna pivot back to the proclamation. Uh, Director Stanley, are we are we ready to go? Yes, Chairman. Jordan Griffin, are you present? Okay, I will state yes. it again. Tab number four is proclaiming the month of February. It's Black History Month in Douglas County. This proclamation will be read by Jordan Griffin. Jordan, you have the floor. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I'm going to be reading the proclamation for Black History Month. So, Black History Month. Whereas during Black History Month, we celebrate the many achievements and contributions made by African Americans to our economic, cultural, scientific, and political development, and whereas in 1915, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, noted black scholar and son of former slaves, founded the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. And whereas Dr. Woodson initiated Black History Week, February 12, 1926, and for many years, the second week of February, chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, was celebrated by African Americans in the United States. And whereas in 1976, as part of the nation's bicentennial, Black History Week was expanded and became established as Black History Month and is now celebrated in the United States, Canada, Ireland, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. And whereas Black History Month celebrates the achievements of African Americans in the arts, civil rights, education, entertainment, government, history, law, literature, medicine, military, music, politics, science, sports, and other endeavors, and whereas Black History Month is a call to each and every citizen to reflect on the cultural, scientific, political, and economic contributions of African Americans, which are deeply embedded throughout our culture and society. Now, therefore, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners do hereby proclaim February 2021 as Black History Month in Douglas County and urge all citizens to celebrate our diverse heritage and to also remember, learn from, and build on the past so that together we can build a better and more prosperous future for all. So proclaim the 16th day of February, 2021. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jordan. So well done. And uh, certainly it is an honor to recognize and honor Black History Month. Uh, in the month of February, we have had our culture has made a significant difference in this country, in this nation, and on this globe. Uh, Board of Commissioners, you have heard the proclamation. Do we have a motion to approve? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? 
We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your virtual vote. <laughs> Our clerk will read the votes when they all have cast have been cast. Yes, ma'am. I'm just waiting on one more. Okay. Not, is anyone having any difficulties? Has everyone cast their vote? I'm still waiting on one. No, you waiting on me. Mine didn't pop up. I'm trying to get it now, Lisa. Okay. Um, got it. Can you cast mine for me, Lisa? I can. If you thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay, the the motion carries four zero. Okay, so we have a four zero unanimous vote and the motion carries Board of Commissioners. And again, uh, thank you so much, Jordan Griffin, for celebrating and uh, reading the proclamation to celebrate Black History Month here in Douglas County. Board of Commissioners, next we have our consent agenda. All items are subject to legal review. Tab number six is authorization to amend an employee contract agreement for Jordan Howard, victim advocate, due to a name change and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number seven is authorization to approve the 2021 equitable sharing agreement and certification for the district attorney's office and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number eight is, is, uh, is authorization to approve a 2021 equitable sharing agreement and certification for the Douglas County Sheriff Office and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number nine, authorization to enter a memorandum of understanding with the Heritage Book Committee of the Douglas County Genealogy Society and the West Georgia Regional Library System for the do donation of up to 100 book titles to the Dog River Public Library for in-house use only for 10 years. Tab number 10, authorization to renew an agreement with the Credit Bureau Systems Inc. DBA ambulance medical uh, billing and for emergency medical services billing and authorize the chairman to sign all documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 11, authorization to renew an agreement with the Southern Credit Bureau, DBA, uh, Creditors Bureau Association for collection on emergency medical service invoices and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 12, authorization to approve a contract with resource management consultants for the amount, amount of $4,000 for the assistance with the firefighters grant application for vehicle apparatus, ladder truck replacement, and turnout gear for new recruits as recommended by the Fire and EMS Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 13, authorization to accept a bid from Prime Location LLC in the amount of $794,000 for construction of a metal building at the Fire Department Training Complex utilizing 2002 SPLOST funds uh, in the amount of $676 and 2016 SPLOST funds in the amount of $125,000 as recommended by the Fire and EMS Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 14, authorization to utilize SPLOS funds to purchase an SCBA retail station for the amount of $33,711.39 to be utilized at the Fire Department Training Complex as recommended by the Fire and EMS Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents Tab number 15, authorize, uh, authorization to utilize SPLOS funds for equipment, vest, and helmets needed to complete the ballistic equipment program in the amount of $31,026.90 as recommended by the Fire and EMS 
committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 16, authorization to utilize the SPLOS funds to purchase upgrades for the CAD system in the amount of $15,434 as recommended by the Fire and EMS Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 17, author authorize a resolution to support an application to the Atlanta Regional Commission, ARC, for the Community Development Assistant Program, CDAP, and technical assistance with the Lithia Springs Small Area Study and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. And last, but certainly not least, is tab number 18, authorization to, to approve a memorandum of agreement with Vision 21 Concept, Inc. to provide emergency financial assistance to the citizens of Douglas County to be used for mortgage payments, rent payments, and utilities. Board of Commissioners, that concludes our consent agenda do we have a motion to approve? So moved. So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion. Uh, the motion was made by uh, Commissioner Carthen of District 3 and the second by District 2 and Vice Chairman uh, Kelly Robinson. Uh, was the second. Do we have any discussion on any particular item? Okay, we have a motion. And a second. And it sounds like we have no discussion. Please prepare to cast your votes. The clerk will render the results in a second. Commissioner Robinson, did you get the notification this time? Commissioner, I believe your mic is on mute. I thought I saw him trying to speak. There you are. Mm -hmm. You got me? I press yes. Did it register? Did you hit save? You have to hit save. In the bottom right hand corner, that's right. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. It's been hit. <laughs> okay. Motion. <laughs> Motion has carried in favor of 4-0. Okay, so the motion carries. We have a 4 unanimous vote to approve the consent consent agenda. Uh, agenda. Thank you so much, Board of Commissioners. Board of Commissioners, next we have the approval of the expenses. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to approve the expenses? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. And a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes. Technology is amazing, uh, citizens. We are voting um, virtually, and this is great, fantastic. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, motion carries in favor four zero. Okay, we uh, we have a four zero unanimous vote, and the motion carries. All right. Any announcements from our board of commissioners before I read the one announcement that we have available? You all have anything you want to say from your particular? districts about your districts commissioner robinson i see you leaning in yeah i'm trying to get to the camera but okay no yes we see, we see, we see you, you see me anyway okay yes, yes. all right um yes ma'am well, thank you for giving me the floor um
And, you know, in light of um, we're celebrating Black History Month, uh, and I, I really appreciate our Youth Commission um, chair who, who gave her her um, the proclamation earlier. And I appreciate the pastor who gave the invocation earlier uh, because the, the, the African-American experience um, uh, is a spiritual experience. Um, it's one that has been 400 years in the making. And, and, and yet a lot has been done, a lot has been that is to, um, considered to be celebrated. Uh, we still have a, a long way to go. Um, um, and you have to take it in, in total context. Uh, and I, I, I'm, I'm speaking directly to, to my district since that was the charge that I'm sure asked, so for district two. And, you know, while we look at the good, you also have to look at, at some of the things that we, we, we must improve on. Uh, we must improve in our narrative toward each other. We, know, we must improve our, our character toward each other. Uh, we must accept and coexist differences. But with that, we have um, boundaries and laws to ensure certain things are done. And in recent times, we, we've had this conversation, and I'll get to what we talk about expense report because it's personal. One of my citizens recently, I was having a listening post, he says, okay, Mr. Robinson, what is the issue? And I, I said, well, to be very honest, it's, it's not about me being on Facebook. It, 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 it's, it's not necessarily about um, where I'm trying to go. It's about control. And we as citizens have to be sensitive not to try to control each other. Right? We, we're all free. Right? And so it's about control. And in and, and my issues, when we had this expense uh, account conversation, I was saying, what, what, what this, this goes back eight years. This, this goes back, I just finished my, um, my second term. And during that period of time, uh, we had a lot of travel. This is, again, uh, I think Commissioner Mitchell and Commissioner Goddard had just got on the scene. And so we're, we're you know, a new, new, new set of, I mean, obviously a brand new um, commission in essence, brand new three new members in essence in two years, or, you know, within a two year period of time. And so things were shifting. So we were getting more actively out there. And what happened was one of my commis fellow commissioners um, of the third district, a great guy, somebody who I've always said I, I had high respect for, um, was getting reimbursed for, for travel within the county. Now, within the county, we have a policy on the books that says um, outside the county, you get reimbursed fully. Inside the county, you, you, you're not supposed to get reimbursed. Pay attention. So I said, okay, well, I, I get it. But he says, well, just go ahead and submit your expense reports. I said, okay. So I submitted my expense report, you know, with the travel inside, whether I'm going to Deer Lake, wherever I'm going, going to the Hilton Hotel. I mean, you guys know my history. I mean, I get out. I get around at that time when I was driving. And this is when I was driving. And so it, it got stalled. And so it came back where, okay, I, I mean, my, my paperwork was getting pulled over by the front desk, by finance, by everybody just pulling over my paperwork. I'm like, well, why is this? And it's like, well, well, our policy is this. I'm like, well, wait a minute. His is getting processed. Well, you know, there's this pause. So now we got to escalate. So we escalated to um, our um, you know, county administrator at that time, which was Eric Linton. And, you know, he said, you know, okay, Commissioner Robinson, well, you know, let, let me look into this. Um, next thing I know, um, our county attorney at that time had, had brought and sent me a letter from outside counsel. Uh, and <clears throat> what happened was they looked into this in such a way that says, well, you know, I, I claim that, look, wait, wait a minute, you're giving him passage, you're giving him a privilege, and you're denying me a privilege. Civil Rights Act, EEOC. Right, like, well, wait a minute now. And so they looked at it, and again, it wasn't just about race, it was about also disability. The fact that, well, wait a minute now, this is a want, mine is a need, but I've got to go through all this. And so they came back and says, well, you really could, you know, you could enforce it and take it away from everybody. I mean, they wrote this letter and stuff, but they got down, but at the end of the day, they said, but since you set a precedent, you should go ahead and do this. And by the way, you know, you can take it out of his expense account. So here I am. And again, I went and, and, and you know, obviously pulled the, the paperwork. And I mean, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. 
And so, I mean, it, it went begrudgingly to say, okay, I, I guess I can. If you've ever been a woman that has been passed over for promotion, if you've ever been somebody who, who, who racially has been you know, marginalized, if anybody because of your orientation or anything regarding your, your, you know, your sex or anything like that, it, 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 it's one of those where guys get my feeling. Now here I'm at, that, at this point, I am at the top of the county. And I'm talking about systemic. That like, okay, but nobody's helping me. I'm, I'm experiencing obstruction. I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing all these things. It's like, but wait a minute. Now my colleague's like, no problem, right? So my issue is, well, wait a minute now. You give him a privilege, you give me a privilege. So it ain't been the first time I've been to federal court, right? Because it, 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 I mean, it got staved off. In other words, go ahead and give him a pass. So here we are, you know, eight years later, two terms later, and we're still experiencing something that that, that and I was trying to be sensitive to my peers. Like, okay, y'all about to re-injure? It's gonna get serious. Don't touch this. Don't touch this. And, and that was my concern, is that we were having this conversation. It wasn't about what, we, I mean, all you see on my Smith's report is just that, and it's just the point. It's the point. It's the principle. You will reimburse me for my travel inside the county. I'm on behalf of the business. It's, it's not what I don't like this. I, it, it, it's irrelevant when it comes to your rights. Everybody wants to express their rights. So in other words, we'll honor your rights. They'll honor your rights. Those people honor their rights. Everybody's honoring rights and stuff, but okay, let's be sensitive. But my, my point to the to the government is that when you're when you're in employment mode, and you're the executives, well, that thing got real teeth too. It's got serious teeth. It's not like trying to create case law with Facebook, trying to get it to the Supreme Court. This thing was settled in 1964. Right, but it gets with, with the promotions, hiring, firings, um, privilege. Go read it. And so my point, I just want to say, is that like, okay, but here I am in 2021, and that spirit is, is you can smell it, and it, 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 it's how you feel. Like, okay, like it, it's nothing they can do, but it's just like, well, let me help the, the current generation get what I came through. So that there's some sensitivity to say, okay, we're not going to open that up again. Right, but it, it, it's one of those where. We want to acknowledge the past. Thank you, George. Like, yeah, yeah, we want to acknowledge that past, but you got to know the past. You can't just see it in an internet blog. You got to know the history. And acknowledge it says, okay, I, I, I may not have gone through what you went through, Commissioner Robinson, but I, I respect it. You might not have been here when I was here, but you got to respect it. And so my point in just saying all this is as we celebrate, it's both sides of the same coin, which is like, yes, we've, there's been a lot, a lot of things that have come forth. There's a lot of firsts. But there's also some, some things that are still latent. It's still, it's that systemic, which is why you have to structurally begin to change things. Like, okay, guys, right? We've got to be sensitive with our words. We have to, we, we can't just make it, we can't normalize things like, okay, that law is serious now. And so it, it just, we, we have to be awake and aware. And I thank y'all for giving me my time. Thank you to my peers for giving me a few extra minutes here uh, of your time. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm, my spirit is leaving me now because I appreciate the past. It's like, okay, now how am I going to say this? Because it's something that had to be said, which is like what, what I experienced, discrimination in my own workforce, and I am one of the top elected officials. That's an issue. I mean, you've heard, um, you know, we, we heard POTUS 44. We, we've heard people like, no, I've been pulled over. You heard state senators. You heard things. I'm getting pulled over in my own county, in my own courthouse, over some paperwork. Now, the question is, what will I do about it? Well, okay, well. Y'all know me. I'm just saying, be sensitive now. And then, and then I'll close it with, you know, what we're, we're, you know, I get that we, we, we seconded this, we brought this thing forward, and we're like, well, we need to look at, it. like, no, you don't want to do that now. And then I go and when I, I subpoenaed the records and I, I looked at my peers and I see that also the fourth district, they being reimbursed in 18 and 19, but they want to say that, well, wait a minute, we don't like you, like, wait a minute, you being reimbursed in 18 and 19? Uh huh. For in-house, in-county travel, and you sweating on me? See the inconsistency? Oh boy, I see. So I, I got to take a look. look how, what, what one of my, my superior court judges? Okay, so the white male commissioner 
gets green lights. The white female commissioner, green light. Me as the, as the black male commissioner, it, like, it gets pulled over every moment. That is unacceptable, man. That cannot be tolerated. It cannot be. Trying to erect all these, these obstacles and that we got to like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> that thing got green light. And then when we asked them about it, they said, well, I don't know nothing about it. Well, go look. I see. That's systemic. It's baked in. And I, that, that's been grieving me for the, it wasn't the fact that, I, you know, I'm okay with the, the First Amendment. I'm, I'm great with that, but it was deeper than that. It, it was way, way beyond it. Like, no. So, with that being said, I come full circle. Yes, let us, let us continue to press forward. Let us, let us can do right. Let's, let's, let's acknowledge that, like, okay, we got some things to work on. It, it's performance improvement. Like, you no, know, let's celebrate those things. Let's celebrate this day, all the first. But also, let's let's be real and acknowledge, like, no, you got some real issues, and it's going to take active work to sort of deal with them. And it, it's both. And um, at the end of the day, if we are conscious and we're awake and aware, I'm sure we all can get to that place where we all can realize the same dream and, and feel uh, as equal in humanity. So, with that being said, to my district, I thank you so much for hearing my heart. I, I told y'all I was going to um, take it to the house, and so with that being said, Madam Chair, I've said what I had to say. My peace is upon me, and um, I yield the floor. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Chairman Robinson. Any other comments from the board commissioners? I yes. okay. Someone had that mic on. Commissioner Carthen, I thought I heard you say yes. Yes, you did. Sure. Thank you, Madam mm Chair. -hmm. Uh, Thank you, Commissioner Robinson. Um, you know, I I think you know many of us, whether it was you know racial or sexual. <laughs> bias we, we all have experienced some form of that and yes it, it is hard to swallow when you are at you, what you feel is that in a position where at this point that should not happen but unfortunately until we start to change some systems and until we start to start to you know legislate some things we can't legislate people's heart what we can do is, is legislate what's fair and equitable for everybody so i hear your sentiments and um, i just want you to know i hear you uh, but on another note, Chairman Jones, uh, you, I, Christy, and Tiffany have worked on something I think is so important to getting out to the community. I just wanted to reiterate what we as the full board of commissioners did, which was um, using um, or utilizing a partnership that we have here in the community with Vision 21 to get rental assistance and utility assistance that is so desperately needed out in the community. So I just wanted Douglas County citizens to know that, you know, uh, although we have, you know, um, a big heart, we can't help everyone, but we did set that aside. And this is just the beginning of what some of the Board of Commissioners has laid out for the public to receive an assistance. So I just wanted to let everybody know Vision 21 has partnered with us. This is a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we're committed to making sure that we collaborate in the community so that we can help our citizens during this time of need. So I just wanted to make that statement. I wanted to say thank you so much um, to Christy and to um, Tiffany stewart Taylor and to um, you, Madam Chair, for working so diligently to, to bring this about. And I hope that it really does help. And again, it's, it's just the beginning. So thank you. And with that, I yield. Thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. Any other comments or announcements before I read our last announcement? Okay. Board of Commissioners, uh, we have one announcement tonight, and I'll read it. It says, join the Douglas County Youth Commission as they host a virtual Black History Month program on February 25th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. The program will be, will be viewed via the Douglas County External Affairs Facebook page. For more information, please send an email to Tabria Cobb at co.douglas.ga.us. We look forward to this uh, Black History program very soon, and I know it's going to be very stellar. Uh, Board of Commissioners, also, we have an, uh, the our new site at the mall, which is our um, mass vaccination site, will be opening. Um, Thursday, there will be a kickoff here in Douglas County. But it's, uh, you know, of course, we're still focusing on our uh, citizens. We still have category, I believe, 1A, which is still the citizen 65 and above. Uh, but it still is, is a nice uh, venue, a nice site, and there's plenty of uh, room. And we're looking at, and it's my uh, understanding that we're looking at perhaps 
rendering about 800 to 1,000 vaccinations a day once we start, once we get up and running. And when I say that with supply, it's a supply and demand issue, as everybody do know that um, we're still um, having some issues with uh, obtaining vaccines in, in the state of Georgia and also across the nation. But as soon as that uh, smooths out, we, when it's smooth out, we certainly will be in a position to accommodate 800 to 1,000 citizens a day at our mass location. And then I'll just close out by saying, uh, citizens, our numbers are looking better in Douglas County with regard to COVID-19 cases. They, we're noticing a slight decline and it's probably because we've come off the holiday binge uh, and everyone is beginning to social distance again. And I just want you to just keep in mind, that's very important. Also, we're, our hospitalizations are reducing as well, which is a good sign but also just want you to please continue to wash your hands repeatedly throughout the day. Watch your social distancing and please wear a mask when out in public and please make sure that your nose and mouth are fully covered. Uh, we do have, and I will ask our um, chairman of the transportation committee, if he could just talk about the, if you don't mind, uh, Vice Chairman Robinson to speak on the, the mask mandate from the federal government for our transportation system. Do you mind giving just the citizens an update? Uh, yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, it, it was brought up in this morning's, or this afternoon's um, 2 p.m. Transportation Committee, um, a request by the committee, which will come before the full board. A federal mandate came down from um, President Biden, um, an executive order that requires everybody, so any agency that has transit associated, whether it's boats, planes, trains, buses, et cetera, you must wear a mask. You are required, no more recommended. So they're basing upon CDC guidelines. They're changing um, um, the word to required. And so that even means for us locally here, because what we have um, obviously federal dollars associated with us. So coming to the Board of Commissioners is not only um, uh, a request for um, messaging it, but it's also enforcing it. So it's gonna require us getting uh, public safety involved, to ensure, just like with TSA, if, if you don't have a mask on the plane, they can take you off. Uh, we doubt we will have that experience here in Douglas County, but at the same point, they're getting serious. Um, I did talk to the solicitor today, Madam Chair, after that meeting, she says she'll work with us to help shape um, that um, resolution before it gets to the full board of commissioners, um, and such as it relates to fines and second fines and when you lose your privileges. So um, again, it's a push to obviously sort of stave off and, and flatten the curve um, as they're getting these vaccinations out there. But at the same point, um, um, the president is, is very serious about uh, requiring this. So it's a step in the right direction. So stay tuned, my peers. Um, stay tuned to the public. More information is to come. I yield the floor, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, Vice Chairman Robinson. And I want to remind the citizens as well, we have a variant that has creeped up on us as well, and it's from the UK. And I ask that you still continue to, again, be very, very diligent with your mask, as Commissioner Robinson just said. I know it's now it, it's uh, trickled over uh, to all our modes of trans transportation, but it's uh, certainly still recommended in the public areas, but we're asking you to just be diligent and keep that mask on. And, uh, you know, when you're in those public settings, well, Board of Commissioners and the citizens. Um, oh, okay, Commissioner Mitchell, you have the floor. My apologies. My apologies. I, I just would like to, I would be remiss uh, by this being our last meeting of uh, Black History Month in February mm -hmm. to acknowledge a dear friend of mine, the chairman of the uh, uh, Board of uh, the School System, Tracy Rucker Shaw, who um, will be releasing a book by the end of this month or sometime early next month. Uh, in honor of announcing that uh, her first book will be in stores next month. And it's been a labor of love to research and document the 19th century African history tied to the creation of Douglas County, Georgia. I'm looking forward to that reading. I think it's going to be awesome. And I just wanted to kind of acknowledge the chairman of the Douglas County uh, School Board System, uh, job well done i'm looking forward to the reading now the book is called the ghosts of douglas county i think it's a great read i think for all of us here in douglas county <clears throat> to look at some ancient history here in douglas county so i just thought i acknowledge that much in a job well done from this scholar as i'll call her 
uh, Tracy Rutherford Shaw and uh, job well done. So I'll leave on that note and thank you again because this is our last meeting uh, in this month of February and I didn't want to miss out that opportunity to acknowledge her uh, great works. Thank you again and I uh, yield back. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Commissioner Mitchell. And, and again, I echo, echo your job well done, uh, Chairman Tracy Ruckert Shaw. Okay, well, Board of Commissioners, we've had all our announcements, and I believe, uh, again, again, congratulations to you, uh, Jordan, for reading and acknowledging Black History Month in Douglas County. So well deserved. Uh, we have definitely done some great things. Again, like I said, in Douglas County, in this nation, and across the globe, and this is a definitely a moment of celebration, and uh, and deep appreciation. Uh, who are, and I just have to testify just a second. Uh, a woman who has been hailed by uh, a former slave uh, only for you know six months of my life. She passed away after that, and then her father was the actual uh, slave that came over from Africa. So I, I have some some testimonies in my life that I can share. But a lot of folks, when I shared with them, said it's a chilling chilling thought because they can cannot even imagine that. So, board of commissioners and the citizens of Douglas County, this has been a great meeting. And with that being said, if there's nothing else to come before this board, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.